Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul. We're in our permadeath story mode run. Now, remember, we were just in the permadeath settings uh, as they stand. In other words, the regular, ordinary permadeath settings. We didn't make any changes. This isn't extreme difficulty. It's just permadeath. Now, it is locked, so I can't go back in and adjust settings. I just want to remind everybody of that. So let's see where we are right now. We are alone amidst the stars. We're doing the Artemis storyline. We are going to do all of the storylines, and we are going to go to the center of the galaxy in order to complete this out, uh, which means a lot of episodes. So enjoy this. We're going to keep this going on a weekly basis. Every Wednesday at 6 a.m. Eastern Time is when the video will come out. All right, so let's get started here. Um, we're in a planetary system that is a pirate system. Um, we are fortunate enough that in our ship here, let me go back to the starship, you'll notice that we have now an economy scanner. We built that. Um, got some good shields and everything like that. We're in decent shape. We're kind of using up most of our room here, and our hyperdrive is just about out of gas, so to speak. But we should have enough to make another fuel cell, I think. We need more ferrite dust. That was the thing we needed. And I don't think we can buy any. Let me just double check. Uh... I don't think these guys carry any, and I'm pretty sure in the permadeath run you can't get ferrite dust anywhere. Gra gra. Nope, that's definitely not going to help me. Nope. Alright, so we're just going to have to land somewhere and figure things out. Now, I have no idea about the planets here, so let's get a move on. I don't think we have enough money to do anything. Yeah, 3.3 .3 mil. So, let's go land somewhere. Figure things out. So, we should have a planet nearby. What are you? Noxious planet. We got fungal mold, copper, ammonia, and silver. Okay, what about the little guy over there? We can get a bead on it. We can't. Okay, let's go at this one. I want to land on a planet and look for something. Flourishing. Now, if I'm not mistaken, did we pick a dissident one too? I seem to recall. It's been a week since I've recorded anything, so... Picking up where we get off here. Uh, hmm, uranium. Do we have uranium on the ship? We do. Okay, so we're right on that. We don't need anything from that planet. Let's come back out of here. We've got a lot of planets here. Aha! That's why we went here. Alright, we're going to head toward the dissident planet. We're going to find ourselves a new ship. It's time. Sorry, storyline. You'll have to wait. All right, on our way. So we definitely need some ferrite, and because it's a pirate system, we can actually shoot a lot of these creatures from the air, and the sentinels will not attack us. So that's going to be a good thing. We don't have to get uh, into any aerial combat with them. We still have to watch out for pirates, though. So we'll keep that in the back of our minds while we're playing. Make sure we don't get into trouble with them. <clears throat> But, you know, we have the ability to switch things now. Now that we know that we do have power, power to weapons, engines, shields, and then you can balance it back out. So, now that I know how to do that, and I have a video on it, so you'll see the link at the end of this one. So you can understand how that works, and trust me, it does help a lot. So I do recommend learning about how to do that, get yourself a hotkey. That kind of thing. Now, this being this is an anomalous planet, I don't know if we're going to find any ships here. But we can at least pick up stuff. Like the things we need. Like an echolocator in order to be able to find um, the ships in another dissonant system. So we'll be in good shape. Um, we can also get ourselves the anomalous animal here. We'll get 250... Um, pardon me. 250... Uh, nanites for that, so we want to keep an eye open for that, too. So now we're looking for... We're going to take a slow glide. We're looking for one of those. There he is, right there. Now, we can't hold still to do this and take him out, so we're going to have some fun doing this. <clears throat> I apologize. It sounds like my throat's going. There we go. Okay. It's just on the other side of this rise here. Yeah. Ship's weapons are not strong enough, so I'll just have to just crash through everything. Right? Alright, what do we have in our multi-tool? We don't have any weapons, do we? 
Now we do have bolt caster. All right, we need some stuff anyway. Now to pick up the living fragments while we're here. Sulfurine. I didn't want full sulfurine. Let's go ahead and get this animal, and we're done. <clears throat> All right. So we need not sulfurine. I need ferrite. We're going to have a little bit of a hard time getting ferrite here, apparently. We need some more, though. There's some ferrite. Good. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, up here. Ah, we can get sodium nitrate now. That's right, because we got our uh, upgrade for our multi-tool. All right. And now we can get ourselves a hyperdrive warp core. We can also get radiant pillars. So that's good. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get some carbon while we're here. So this is not going to really work out about getting a ship, I can guarantee you that. But it will get us well on the way. So we just have to find another dissonant system. It doesn't even have to be a pirate system. It could just be a regular system. There we go. Okay. Now. Good. Get the big Atlantidium. We're going to need a lot of that. And the Radiant Shards we definitely need a lot of. Alright. What do we got around here? You got Gravitinal Balls. We're going to stay away from those. Radiant Shards over there. So where'd the guy go that we were going to attack? Now, let's head towards a Radiant Shard. Since that's what we do need. There we go. Yeah, we get the carbon too while we're here. You can always use more of that. Good. I don't think we need much of that dihydrogen, so let's take another look real quick. We definitely want to find that driller, wherever he went to. That's really strange. I thought we were closer than that. Hmm. Interesting. There's our ship. And I know we didn't go too far away. We literally landed right next to him, but that's really, really strange. Let's head back towards the ship. It's got to be in that general area. I think it's that hill beyond it. That's probably what happened, is I went a little too far. Oh, it, there he is right there. Let's get the radiant shard first. Don't want to tick them off too much. Let's go over here. Ah, crap. Inverted mirror. Well, we need one of those anyway. We'll get this guy too. I think. We might not be able to. We gotta be very careful. Because they could still attack. But they're not gonna attack in the droves and the, you know, coordinated attacks that you're gonna come to know from these guys. Now you notice that the swarm counter 
the hunting counter is going to continue on while I'm taking these out. So a little usually a good idea just to stop for a few seconds. Two, one, and done. Okay, so we're good. So we got our inverted mirror, but that's not exactly everything we needed. Okay. So we're going to take off. We're going to take another look around. Because we want the echolocators. We want to be able to find um, ships with it. Go slow and keep an eye on the ground. Can't get radiant shards with our ships, but we can take out the the uh, drillers with it. If we can get a clear shot of them anyway. Things are loading in kind of slow for me. I'm so sorry. I'm hoping you're enjoying this so far. Oop, nope, that's not it. Now you can look at the map up above and you can see that radiant shards are going to show up in your radar, but you'll also get the the drillers will show up as well. Got three shards there, got a group of them, that's nice. But that's not what we need right now. We need a driller. Just need at least one locator and we can find ourselves a ship. Because it could get dangerous for us out there and a, and a sentinel ship would be the better option to have just to play it safe. You could be much safer in that. Okay. Oh, come on. And in case you hear a little bit of noise in the background, I've actually got a new keyboard. That tends to, it's a mechanical and it tends to be a little noisier than usual. Oh, there's one. He is right below us. Okay, let's go ahead and land over here. We'll get a couple radiant shards while we're here. Is he going to attack us by if I take this? And he wants to fight. Okay, I'm leaving. All right, where are you? He's over there. What is he in a hole? That's weird. Where did he go? I can hear him. It's very strange. I think he's down below us in a cave. That would be interesting. What do you think? Let's check it out. Yep, I was right. Look at that. Son of a gun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Does it say what he's got? It doesn't. I think we got him. Another inverted mirror. Darn it. Yeah, just wait here for a second. Because I think we can get away with this. And done. Alright. So let's take a look around. See if we can find another mirror. 
Boy, they're kind of few and far between. I was really hoping to get at least one echo locator, but the inverted mirrors are going to come in handy for later on uh, because we will be able to use those to repair equipment, especially if we can get ourselves a Sentinel uh, uh, multi-tool as well. Launch thruster is dead. Should have plenty. I'm going to use up the star launcher, the, the fuel that we have, so we can get them out of our inventory. Okay, let's watch our radar. I think we're too high. Let me drop down. Okay, we got one right in front of us, I think. Not right in front of us, it's off to our right, but we should be able to find it. There he is, right there. Dissonance resonator, right? Yes, okay. Just do it right from here. Get a little closer, we'll do a little more damage. Doesn't say what it has, though. Oh, got him. Another mirror. Whoop, careful. There we go. Let him hunt. Sometimes you can find another resonator nearby, but I'm not seeing anybody at the moment. And trust me, these radiant charging to come in handy. I promise you. All right, what do we got? More shards. Didn't we already find this guy? Is there another one there? Let's just take a look because uh, the danger's over. I'm just curious if maybe there's a second one there. That happens on occasion. You get two right side by side. No, it's just him. Hi. How you doing? Okay. Where's my ship? Right there. This way. And you know what? That's true, too. Is we really don't have to worry about... Um, getting attacked, so we can get right in our ship and take off and move away, and they'll never come after us, so. They may try to follow us, but that's okay. Beauty of a pirate system. So this is going to be just the episode, hopefully, that'll get us what we're looking for. We'll do the storyline, but our next system that we're going to go to is going to be another system that has dissonance, so we can get ourselves a decent ship. I'll do a scan, but I don't think we're going to find anything. I don't think there's any settlements here. Oh, hello. Wait a minute. What are you? There was you. Oh, there you go. That's why. Because it was a mirror right there. That's why we saw so many sentinels on the radar. Go up here... Get a better line of sight. Inverted mirror again. Well, crap. I don't mind getting another one, but after a while, we're going to have to stop and look for ones that have the mirror, uh, have the other stuff instead. Okay, good. Let's go. So before we take off, taking a quick look around. Yeah, I don't see anybody. Uh, let's go back to the ship. Whoa, okay. I didn't know they would do that. They're not supposed to do that here. So let them, let them just hunt. So now we know. And there we go. Okay. Wow, okay. Learned something new today. And I've already wasted all the fuel in my launch thruster. That's hilarious. Better ship. 
Yeah, great. Usually means we're going to get attacked. At some point, anyway. So we'll do our best to survive it. Just want one echolocator, guys. I don't have to get a whole lot of ships here. Just one ship. I know I'm crashing into a lot of stuff, but it's also helped me clear a path so I can see the ground a little better. Oh, there's one right below us. Is that another one over there? No, it isn't. Okay. Just checking that he's the only one. So I'm going to check this one out. I'm going to get kind of close to him. Well, what do you have? Echolocator. You're the one I wanted. Okay. Those little guys are, are annoying. And they're going to be tough. They, they're already shooting at me. Hopefully this, I can get away with just taking this guy out before they get me too much. Oh, come on. Got him. Okay. Better get moving. Okay. And these guys like to jump far, so I'm going to have to get myself moving really, really good here. Ah. Two right in front of me. Heading from another spot. And gone. All right, so what do we got? Uh, we got plenty of ferrite dust. Not a lot, but we do have enough. Uh, a little bit of silver we could probably sell. We got the one echo locator, so we're in good shape. I think we ought to take it out of here, shall we? All right, so where's my ship? See? Same comment I make every single time. Dude, where's my ship? Hi, how you doing? Uh, you know what? I'm going to leave that alone. I don't feel like messing with you guys anymore. Wow, there's a lot of them around. Good grief. They were really upset about that one. Alright, we're out of here. Okay. So, we're going to take our spoils. And we're going to go ahead and locate the long distance transmitter. Which is there. And off we go. Alright, good deal. So we're going to complete the storyline on this one. And then we'll leave this system. We're going to go to another system that has a dissonance, dissonance detected. So we'll see what we can do about that. Because this is going to be a tough system to keep the storyline going in. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, 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 I know. Good old threat detected, I get it. Should probably recharge my, uh... Let's start with you. And can we recharge our pulse engine? What do we got? I'm gonna keep some of that. I'll use the pyrite. Hopefully it'll be the last time I have to charge that thing. We do have to get one more jump out of this thing. Boy, there's a lot of threats detected, isn't there? Down we go. Alright, we got all kinds of buildings nearby. This is a moon, so we can also look for crashed ships. This will be a good place to look for them. Because buildings, as you can see, are much closer together. And we're going to have to watch out for that pirate, because... He's sooner or later going to be coming this way. We've got a lot of ships in the area. There must be something nearby. Oh, there it is. That's what we're looking for. Right there. Love to find a crash ship. Looks like we got some oxygen over there, too. How are we doing on oxygen? Let's check that out. Uh, we got enough. Wouldn't be a bad idea to stock up on it. Falling. 
And we probably want to get our life support up to snuff, too. We've got plenty of dioxide. We'll go ahead and use it. Okay, before we go up there, we need 110, give or take. Easy. Okay, how are we doing now? 463, we could use about 30 more. Okay, that should probably take up a second spot now, right? Nope, five short. Excellent. Very efficient. Okay, so this is it. I guess we'll go up. Can't go all the way to the top. Don't quite have the juice for it. Not yet, anyway. We'll have it soon. I wonder why the jetpack doesn't recharge while you're climbing a ladder. Okay, here we go. Uh, we need to use sodium or sodium nitrate. We'll go ahead and use the sodium nitrate. Glad I got some of that while I was down there. Act Hollow Terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to reestablish the connection to Artemis. To an Artemis signal. I try to locate Artemis frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. And we're going to see that thing go up and whoop into there. Okay, he usually appears right there. Yep. Hello, Artemis. Who's... Who's there? You. It's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream? Say you're real. I'm sorry. It's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry, I haven't heard, heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Ask who they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you not? Ask how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star with a fragile world. They do not understand the shapes within, the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see this stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness I hear it said, Anomaly detected. Designation Traveler. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it, too. We are the travelers, discoverer of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. I like that, that line right there. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. You know, I think that is going to be a great heading. We are the travelers. I'm actually writing it down. Discoverer. Of worlds. I love that. Nice title. Before I become, became stranded here, I was on a journey to, to finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found the signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from that crashed ship? I'm going to upload the data. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crashed vessel. Much of my equipment is damaged. I'm alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me, but this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. We need to work out where we both are. If you build signal boosters across this system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I'll be able to find my way out, and you'll get all the answers you seek. Agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Excellent. So there we are. We've learned a signal booster, so you see that's why we didn't have to buy it. So we're going to get metal plating and carbon nanotubes is the two things we need in order to create this. We can definitely get the carbon nanotube. I don't know if the metal plating... Yeah, we need more of that. So what do we got? Let's get rid of some things here. Let's jump down. Hello, ship. And while we're here... There we go. Wow, sure there's a lot of animals here, isn't there? One. Two of ten. Sentinel drone I'm locked in on. There's three. Four. 
or we're going to have to get ourselves um, five into our ship before we die. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Could have jumped into the cave too. But we didn't have to. Okay. So while that's recharging, let's take a look. I got plenty of inventory space, by the way. So let's do something here. I want to get rid of the sulfurine. We don't really need that. I'd like to keep as much on me as possible for when we find the ship. Um, well, we got a lot of this. Okay, that's good. I'll put you down here. Um, we should be able to get some ferrite dust. All right. Okay. And we would need to upgrade our exosuit too while we're at it. All right, good. And we're just about fully charged. Let's go ahead and get out. Let's see if we can find some rocks. Uh, looks like a rock to me. No, that's carbon. How about you? You must be rock. I should really check those out because it's probably going to have something in it as a secondary element that we need. Let me see if there's any more rocks around we can get. The hydrogen. Yeah, I'll get the plant too while we're here. Okay. All right. We need as much ferrite dust as we can get, and it's going to be one of those runs where we can't find any. But I got those already. Chromatic metal, go figure, right? Like we need more, but hey, every little bit counts, you know what I'm saying? Nice. Geodes are good. Nice. More geodes. I like that. Nice. Okay, good. Let's get... What do we need here? Go ahead and build that. This can go on our ship. And we should be able to build the signal booster, which all we have to do is build it. There we go. So we got our first position. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue this run here. Uh, anybody else I can check out? Because, you know... We can get as much as possible here. Wow, it's really dropping fast. You notice that? All right, in the ship we go. Okay, up. Uh, let's see, so we want to go to the second location, so let's go ahead and head out of here. We really wanted to see if we couldn't find a ship. What? Are you kidding me? Is there a crash ship, like, right nearby? Hold the phone. Oh, man, it was just someone who wanted to trade. Nice ship, though. Got it met. It's pretty... I thought we had a crash ship, like, right there. That would have been, like, freaking awesome. Great way to boost your, uh... Income real fast. Or get yourself a decent ship, one of the two. Yeah, not seeing a whole lot here. I don't want to stay too long. Because we... Do definitely want to get ourselves a Sentinel ship. Purchasing a new ship just isn't going to be in our cards, I don't think, personally. I don't think it really is worth it. I mean, we can get money for it, and we know that, and that's all great and dandy. But. Tell you what, 30 seconds. We'll give it 30 seconds. And if we don't see anything, we're out of here. I mean, that's not a lot of time, but hey, you know, like I said, we already got plans to get a decent ship. And this episode is probably going to run a little bit over. Yeah, I'm not seeing a whole lot. Yeah. How about you? The campground, but that's it. Yeah, 
nothing. Nothing. All right. I think it's been more than 30 seconds, and we've given it more of a chance than we possibly even needed to. So, okay. But that's just a little, you know, tidbit of information you can use as you can... Uh, the moons are, have everything put together tighter than anything anyplace else. Got a nice little place here. I don't think they're going to have anything for us. But, okay. I think we're done. Out we go. Where are you? Right there. So we're going to head to that place. Yep, I know. I just don't feel like taking a chance. Sorry. I mean, it's a lot of cash. 342000 but I guarantee you he's going to have friends. It'll probably take me down, so. So we're not going to fight him unless we really, really have to. All right, we're coming in for a landing. And we're going to plant our second signal booster. Oh, what do you know? It's a drop pod. How convenient is that? Let's see what we got on us here. About, let's see, so we're going to need a carbon nanotube, we're going to need an antimatter housing, and we'll need sodium nitrate, which I think we have. Antimatter, sodium, and carbon. Excellent. And where do we want to put this? So we've got plenty of room up here still. We don't have a lot of room in our inventory. Um... I don't like that hole down there. I'm going to put it over here. This one is even bothering me more, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. Triangulate signal. And there we go. You know what we could do? Just as a little tidbit of information, you can do this too. Locate nearby structures. Okay, it just found the drop pod we were literally standing inside of. Well. Okay, so where's our third location? There it is. Okay, and you are off planet. There we go. Threat detected. What a surprise. Oh, it's taking us to, to the back to the moon, it looks like. Alright, good deal. Oh, an archive right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it looks like we got some landing space too, so we don't have to use up our launch fuel. Nice. Out we go. And that's a signal unit, so we may try that here in a minute. Okay. I'm going to take a look in there real quick. Because this may lead to a crash ship, which again, like I said... Oh, great. Of course it's pirates. And there's three of them. Okay, that makes things so much easier. Okay. I don't think I want to do this. Because that's just leading to a freighter. And we're not interested in those. Alright. Where's ship? Ship is... I gotta plan ahead. Over there. Here we go. Engines, shields. Come on. Ah, crap. There we go. I'm going to bring it over to weapons. And it does make the weapons way more powerful. 
That guy. Right there. He's the one that's been attacking me, so... Where'd he go? There you are. No, you. There we go. For some reason I shoot better when I'm in first person mode. Okay. Alright. Got some credits for it anyway, so that's nice. Alright. And you notice that because we're near archives, we had some guys joining us, so that was kind of nice. Okay. And all the little dots are because of the archives, so no big deal. Okay. Well, where to? What's our next, uh, yeah, I know, I know. We destroyed five starships. Good grief. Keep it up there. Turn to the space and contact Artemis. Okay, so let's do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got? When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger, and here we are, aren't we? Go to a hollow terminus, upload your data, let's find each other. End the communication. Okay. And why do we have that? Ugh. Yeah, I know. Still have it set to weapons, so I'll take a look. Okay, we got a little extra credits out of it, so, you know, what the heck, why don't we take it? Alright, so where to? Okay to Harlow, Hollow Terminus. Detected. Oh, that's weird. Are you literally sending me out to another planet entirely? Eh, whatever. That's okay. We'll take it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop at this particular spot. We're going to go ahead and complete this portion, and then we're going to look quickly for a dissident system. And see if we can get ourselves a new ship, and we'll end the episode with our new ship. Possibly with a new weapon, too. I would, would love to have a new multi-tool. Oh, man, this thing's so agonizingly slow. Looks like we got ourselves one of those uh, special places there. Thank you. All right, down we go. Just curious, I thought I saw something over there. And we can always use more ferrite dust at some point, right? Hopefully the Sentinel will not be activated by that. No? I don't need you. I just want to get a little bit more ferrite dust because, you know, we could always use some. Okay. It's not much. It's only a little bit, but every little bit helps. Alright, let's, uh, I guess get up to here. All the way up we can go now. Because we had ourselves a, a ladder. What do you know? Okay, multiple sources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know that. Ew, right through my head. Hurts every time, I tell you. Okay, here we go. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent. We're really getting somewhere. Hold on. I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own, a star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. 
You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You'll need to cal calibrate it first, but that should only take a few, few words. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. Okay, so we're going to be doing that in our next episode. We have the Artemis translator. We need copper, and we need a microprocessor to do it. All right, let's go down. Get it just right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to be coming back to this shortly. Let's take a, a quick jump out to the stars. And what we're going to do is we're going to head out to the into the galaxy real quick. We have a, enough of a charge to jump to one system. There. Okay, let's see what we got. And what we need to do is do that so we can see everything a little bit better. So we're looking, you see at the top, like for this system, it says dissident, right? That's what we're looking for. A lot of them say water. Here's another dissident, but it's an indium. We should find them pretty close by. There's a dissonant system right there. It's a G9 as well. Plenty of worlds. So let's check it out. It's only 73 light years away. Let's see if we can get ourselves a new ship. Wouldn't that be nice? There we go. All right, let's see what we got. First contact again, huh? What are you? Selenium, high temperature. Asthmatic. There should be a planet, like, right behind me as well. There we go. Maybe we'll get fortunate. Nope. Stay locked on that one. There it is. That's the one, and it's a dead planet, so that's not going to help us any. Unless we have another planet here that has what we're looking for, and we already checked those two out. Yeah, we're done. We're done. This is not going to work. It cannot be a dead planet. Hopefully we have enough of a charge to get to our next system. Nope. We're going to have to make one more. Okay, here we go. One more jump. There. Water. 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 Lots of water. Water. Water, Helen. Water. Oh, dissident. That's not where we are, right? It's a G3. It's a little poorer, but it is dissonant. Let's see what we got. Maybe we get fortunate here. We'll find at least one non-dead or anomalous world that can be dissonant. And we can find ourselves a decent ship. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see what happens here. Ugh, of course it's going to be a space battle. Let's see if this works. Right here. And stop. Go here. Really? Crap. And it's gone. It worked. Son of a gun. That worked in the Voyager's expedition, so I don't know why it works here. Alright. It's not the world. What do we got? What happened? Uh, warp five times. Yeah, on your fifth warp, you always get that. And I'm not ready to save a freighter yet. I am in no position to do so. Okay, Ashen. Okay, Fungal Mold. Hopefully the closest one will be the one we're looking for. It is. And it looks like even though it's a toxic horror, dissonance is detected. So that means it has buildings, it has landing pads, it has everything we you need for a growing traveler. Okay, here we go. So first things first. Let's get close.
What a time to have sneezes. Good grief. Let's see. I promise you I'm not sick. All right. Let's go ahead and do the search. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our inventory. We're going to select this. And it should show me an echolocation over there. Now we also want to look for any of those campgrounds that sometimes appear on the ground, the little tents and stuff like that, because that's where we're going to find a nice sentinel weapon. Ooh, I just found something. It's not the best thing to find in the world, but is this... Nah, I'm going to skip that. The really big ones are very, very handy. They always, uh, they always show you the closest echo that it finds. Let me see how far away it is. Yeah, that's pretty close. But we want to look at the ground because I really would love to find one of those campsites and see if I can get a new multi-tool. Even a C-Class Sentinel multi-tool is better than what I've got, so... It's always hard to find those campgrounds, though. Oh, got those things on it, huh? That's cool. Got to look for... flattened spots in the terrain that are unusual, like where, the, where these uh, big spinning things are located. They're very similar to that. Worms. We got worms. Worms and dirt and worms and dirt. I don't really like the toxic horrors. They're not really a fun planet to be on, but it is what it is. And the thing is, is even though we scan and we find like that, it's it, they don't find for some reason the campsites, at least as far as I can tell. Yeah, that's not... Whoops. Hey, when I do that. Okay. So I'm going to use a little bit of my viewpoint here to look around. Yep. Oh, it is a campsite. That's not a ship. That's even better. Well, cool. If I had known that, that would have made things ten times easier. Thank you very much. Okay. Good deal. I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff on the ship. Well, you know what? We don't have a lot of material in our... Let's see what we pick up here. Hold on. This would be one back here, as we all know. This one, and then this one. And we can get rid of the goop. We can get rid of that. Void moats. Oh, they're giving those away now. Cool. All right, that's nice to know. I didn't know that. Is that what I think it is? Can we make creature pellets yet? We can. If there is anything better to get, it is one of those guys. And I didn't know they had them on this planet. Let's see. Did I see right? I did. You. I want a pet. Come on back. We're going to adopt you. And we're going to get that off of there. Come on back. Bring in the love, and we're going to feed it one more pellet. All right, good. But we can ride those things. That's really handy for checking out planets. Um, where were we? Yeah, you. We're going to go ahead and dismiss you for now. All right, good. Excellent. Well, that's a That was a bonus. All right, let's go ahead and jump in here and see if we can unlock things. Shell is consumed by fire, mines purged by betrayal, banished to the glass beneath, forgotten by creation. But no longer we are given life as gives life to themselves. We shall create ourselves in our own image. 
repeats the message endlessly, a loop chanted out across its circuits, a strange interface glows with a familiar sequence of glyphs. Okay, so input the glyphs, we're going to back out immediately, and then when you go scanning the memory glyphs, it immediately pulls it up, so it makes it a little quicker. So let's do the math, we've got 1, 6, and 12. Okay, and it doesn't really make a difference what order you put them in. There we go. We've unlocked the terminal. Compliance access granted. Harmony awaits you. Lift the lockdown. Terminal buzzes. Discordant, but its circuits do appear to comply with my request. Whatever force was locking down this camp has been lifted. The lockdown lifted. The terminal spits out blueprints for a piece of hybrid jet technology. Fusion of Sentinel and something else. Something familiar and yet distant. So we get the Aeron turbojet that we can go ahead and add to our... We also go back in here. Uh, we're going to deactivate the multi-tool. And we got to go in one more time. And dissonant spikes. So this will find us a ship. Excellent. Very good. Very happy. What a great thing to have happen. All right. Let's get our new multi-tool. Let's see what it looks like. It's a C-Class, got one supercharged slot, but we should be able to do some repairs on this sucker and open up a whole bunch of slots, so that'll be really nice. Uh, before we do so, how much room do we have? We have three slots available to us. Yeah, 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 I'll put that in later. Uh, we need our advanced mining laser. And what else we need? You know what? I didn't check to see what they had in there. Hold on. got the hijack laser, they got the scanner, and they got the analysis visor. Okay, good. So we just need the scanner upgrade. Wrong one. We don't, we can't take the take this off of there. We do need a bolt caster. We're going to go ahead and take it, and we need the terrain manipulator. So we'll come back for the terrain manipulator. Compare. Take. And so we don't die, let's go back into our ship, and we'll do our adjustments here. So, supercharged slot for that. We don't have any crystallized hearts, but we can do the Atlantidium pretty easily. We should have tons of that. Radiant shards, we'll go ahead and open that up. Uh, we do have inverted mirrors, we got four of them. Radiant shards again. We don't have crystallized hearts. Lantidium. Inverted mirror. Lantidium. Okay, and what about you? Inverted mirror. Okay, so that opens up all of our slots. Let's put the scanner over here. Visor down there. We do want to make a mining beam because that will increase the power for that thing and make it even better. Let's go over here. We're going to install our bolt caster. I guess I'll put you down here. What is going on? Everything's shaking. I hope I'm not getting attacked. Scanner. Okay. No? No. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch out real quick to our other multi-tool. And we're going to remove our terrain manipulator. So I'm so glad we um, got rid of our s silicon, but it is what it is. All right. Install. Uh, let's see. I'll put you over here. And we need to gather up materials. We can use pure ferrite on it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. That'll give us a good start. All right. Good. And now with the hijack laser, we can gather materials a lot quicker. There we go. Look at that. And get a radiant shard back for our troubles. Any other radiant shards floating around? Scan some animals while we're here. Okay, we gotta go after our ship. So let's go ahead and do that. Ship is... that's harmonic scrap. Uh, let me take a look real quick. I don't know if these things give us anything anymore. Yeah, we don't have enough Atlantidium anyway, so we're going to have to get some more. Alright. Oh, 
It's stabilized. Okay, there's our ship. Excellent. Launch thruster is almost depleted. A launch to go. But we're about to get a ship. Yay! Finally! We're one hour into this episode. I didn't really want to go this long. But hey, that's alright. Six minutes away. Come on. Give me a break. There we go. It's really just dragging this out even longer. My ship. That's what it is. So we'll have to take some stuff off of this ship to put in my own inventory. We're running low on inventory space too, so that's going to be fun. And here we go. Let's see what it is. Hopefully it's not too ugly of a ship. Oh, it's one of those. A little speedster. Awesome. Alright, what do we got? I really need some more Atlantidium. Alright, what are we? C-Class. Well, it is what it is. And we gotta do the Hylian Brain, of course. We do have Radiant Charge and an Inverted Mirror. Okay, so we're all set there. We just need to... do that. So again, C-Class ship. I would love to hold out for a better ship, but this will suffice. This will do everything we need it to do. So no problem. That's not what I was trying to do. Get it out. I know, I want the ship bad, but I can't do it right now. We'll come back. Oh, is that what I think it is? It is. This is worth some time. Very nice. Shut down. Very nice. What do they got? Nothing really worth our time, and it doesn't have anything on it that's worth our time either. We could take it and deconstruct it in the anomaly. So, for that, it could be worth something. And we get it for free, so let's just take it. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Uh, we want to log out. Alright, let's switch back. There we go. And while we're here... All right, and we are literally out of inventory space. Let's do something here. I'm going to put this in our other ship. Okay. Weapon shard. Yes, we'll go ahead and do that. And put it there. Potential damage just went up significantly. And one more. So we got these. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in our starship. We'll hang on to them. We don't really need them here. So if we ever need them, we know that they're stored elsewhere. And we'll hang on to the ship. We won't actually sell it. The Radiant Chart isn't worth much. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, good. Alright, where are you? Okay. There should be more combat supplies, right? Yep. Okay. Any more? Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'll scan you. You're right in front of me anyway. Okay. No more combat supplies. But this is great, because now we can collect things however we want. So that's going to be fantastic. Yeah, 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 I know. There we go. Okay. Wow, that is just fantastic that I came across that, huh? Wait a minute. We were just here. We need to go to the other place. Where's the other place at? Okay. 
We went the wrong way. Let's go the other way. Ah, dragging it out. I know, I know. It is what it is. I am just absolutely stoked about this. This is great. So now I can gather supplies. We can get the inverted mirrors like crazy if we need some. Um, where there are inverted mirrors is a possibility I may come across some crystallized hearts as well. So that's good. See? I must have passed over so what happened is, is you, you pass over an inverted see because all the ones have been destroyed on the planet you're getting credit for them every time you come across them that they've been destroyed which is fun so I don't know where the inverted mirror was that's hilarious All right, well, that's a shame because we really could use the stuff. Look at this. There's one right there. I'm going to land. I know this is crazy. But it's because of the canisters that are on the ground. And we're not going to be able to get them very easily from the air. Not with this ship. And we need to use the Atlantidium. More Atlantidium. Did we get any hearts? I'm just curious. Oh, we did get one. No, that's all Atlantidium. And the Starship has one as well. Very nice. There we go. Okay. Got plenty of Atlantidium now. Go figure. And is that copper? Son of a gun. And we need copper. We need 100, don't we? So let's get a little bit of copper here while we're here. Might as well, right? We need about 100. We could have probably purchased it at a space station, but it is what it is. There we go. That looks good. Some silicate powder. Actually, we could use some more of that. How much copper did we get? 115. We need to charge up our... Is that all it's gathering? Come on now. A little bit more. We'll just clear it out. Why not? Well, there's a lot more copper in here than I expected. Not enough. Can you imagine? We still didn't get enough. There we go. Finally. Yeah, I know. We're going to have to recharge soon if we don't get to our... But it's the radiant shards I'm after. I'm really chancing it here, I know. No, that's not what I was choosing. We got plenty of batteries. All right, good deal. Um, where are we going? Where's my ship at? Here it is. Wrong way. <laughs> See, so yeah, I did it again. Dude, where's my ship? All right. Uh, 
Now is it right here? It should be really close by. That's the salvage site. We going the wrong way again. I know, I probably should have done it, but I got all kinds of stuff. And we're finding all these dead sentinels, and I'm hoping to get more stuff from them. But, you know, it is what it is. See? Okay. There we go. I can't get anything right now because this is on my screen. Oh. Must be the Viking. Yeah, okay, good. We'll go ahead and get the words while we're here. Because it's just handy to do. Okay, there we go. Up we go. There we go. The mind of the ship child is in a lock with the hive. Current instructions seek and eliminate anomalies and mesh archival sentience with surrogate entity. Present the brain. Yep. I'm not going to go through all this. It's just part of what we're doing here. Okay, so we got our harmonic brain. Oh, if I only had a brain. Okay. Excellent. Alright, let's go ahead and just get going. Get to our ship. Oh, unbelievable. Yep, just what we need. More stuff popping up on our screen. So we're just going to go straight for the ship this time. What I might do is off camera, I might go ahead and grab some extra stuff while I'm here. And that's about it. But I want to at least get the ship and then we can call it. So not bad. An hour and 15 minutes or so. Alright, how far away is this thing? Good. Any time now. We're almost there, I promise. Kind of boring, I know. But it is what it is. We got this. I mean, I would love to get myself an S-Class ship in here, but... I'm just happy to get whatever I can get at this point. And like I said, we're going to leave this stuff over here. I'm going to take one of these. I'm actually just going to take them both. I can't put them anywhere in there. Is that already? Yep, done. Okay, let's go ahead and clear that out. I do want to pull that out of there because I need it. Okay, there we go. Let's get our ship. And let's, let's see, we got one charge slot. That's good. Looks like we got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, good. We got rocket launchers out of it, too. Okay. Usual stuff, but we got a lot more slots, that's for sure. The abandoned ship's worth a little bit more money. Too bad we can't find another one, huh? Maybe we'll do that in the next episode. We'll do another ship hunt and see if we can't find one, right? So, anyway, let's put this in the ship. We're going to need all those in there. Okay. Eh, I'll hang on to that for now. Got some copper. Got a good amount of copper. Got more copper than I expected to have. Let's go ahead and do the Artemis Translator real quick. Just so we can get it in there and I can reduce the amount of crap in my inventory. The void moats we're going to hang on to because we'll need them. More diet I'll put in the ship. Okay, that should do it. So we got a lot more free, uh, freed up inventory now, right? And in here, let's move some stuff. So this is our warp hyper core. And you see our hyperdrive range is 600. If we put it there, we get 750 out of it. So we're in good shape. I need more radiant shards to keep it up to snuff, though. All right, good. There's our shield. There's our weapon. Weapon damage potential is 130. We don't really need that much more. So what happens when we put here 146? That's okay. We definitely don't want that in a supercharged slot. Okay. We're in good shape. I think we're in really good shape now. All right, excellent. So what we want to do is we're going to, before we jump in the ship, we're going to jump in this one and pull some stuff out. 
yeah, I know. We could talk to aliens. I get it. Uh, put this in our inventory. I don't know if we can use the uranium and the pyrite, but we'll take it anyway, and I'll take this. We'll leave the tritium behind. Oh, why not? Let's just take it. We definitely need the chromatic metal. Yeah. Okay. Go over here. Copper in there too. Uranium, pyrite, chromatic metal, you, the extra. Okay. Okay, and one more time. There's one thing we need to do in this one is we'll need to pull in this. We're going to uninstall that in our inventory. Okay, what else? Definitely want that. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. Everything's done. So. I think we're, your inventory is, in, is full. Looks like we have to do this one more time. One more time. So let's go ahead and put this up here. Shields go by the Aeron. It's also a shield. We'll put that over there. This is for the weapons. There we go. So damage is up to 151. Pulse drive. Uh, where are you? Oh, okay, over there. Good. 55. Doesn't seem to make a difference. Okay. All right. Good deal. Last run, I promise. We just got to pull the last of the cargo out of here, and we're done. All right. And that's the end of that ship. Well, like I said, we'll hang on to it in case we want to store some stuff in it. And we got two upgrades for our ship. All right. So why don't we leave it here? I'll go ahead and exit. Uh, yeah, you want to see it in action. I do too. Not bad. Traveled 20,000, huh? So like I said, I'm going to wander around and I'm going to destroy some stuff while I'm here. Because we've got some inhabited outpost detected. Okay, good deal. I'm going to land over here for now, and we're going to call this what it is. The end of our episode. Let's get a nice screenshot of us standing in front of our new ship. The glass soul. There we go. And there you go, folks. There we go. All right. I want to thank you all for watching today, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody.